Hi everyone, and welcome to my walkthrough of what's probably the first ever game written with a quill, uh, which is Gilsoft's Diamond Trail, uh, released around about the same time as the quill, as part of what Gilsoft called their gold collection. So let's play. Welcome to Gilsoft's Diamond Trail. Just before its long-awaited premiere, the priceless Sinclive Diamond was stolen from the jewel room of Spectrasia's capital, Microdrivia. You must restore it in as short a time as possible before the public begin to doubt its existence. Also bring the fake back to headquarters. Copyright 1983 by Tim Gilbert. Diamond Trail was written using the Quill Adventure System. So there's a few references here to uh, things you might know if you're familiar with the ZX Spectrum. So uh, the Sinclair Diamond, that's a reference to Sir Clive Sinclair, who was the inventor, uh, main chief behind Sinclair Research, who invented the ZX Spectrum. Uh, Spectrasia obviously is a reference to the ZX Spectrum, and Microdrivia is a reference to the storage device called the Microdrive, uh, effectively a, a very fast tape drive that you could get for the ZX Spectrum. Uh, this game was written by Tim Gilbert, the head of Gilsoft, who marketed and sold the Quill. Let's play, see how we get on. This is a sort of set of instructions for those of you who may not be familiar with adventures. So I will be your eyes, hands and senses, and you must direct me with commands of the form verb noun. For example, remove hat, take gun, use plank, etc. The game position can be saved on cassette with save game and loaded back with load game. I should warn you that I only look at the first four letters of each word, so you only need to type in the first four letters of long words. I also know some abbreviations. R and I are short for read, scribe, location and take inventory. Also, all directions can be shortened to one letter, for example, N means go north. Note that you can often enter buildings. So again, this is quite unusual, although I think many of the games that first came out with the quill used the command R or redescribe to describe the current location. And of course, later on, look became the kind of standard, look, look or the letter L became the standard for, for doing that. So uh, yeah, sometimes these early games can be a bit confusing if you're not used to that. If you type in more than two words, I will try to work out what you mean, but sometimes I will get it wrong, so it's best to stick to two words of the form verb noun. If you have trouble, then you probably just need to try a few more words. I have quite a large vocabulary. If using different words doesn't help, you could be attempting something that is beyond my capabilities, and you should try a different tack. Oh, by the way, stealing is a crime in Spectrasia. You can't expect to walk away with other people's things without paying. Have fun! And... Now the game itself commences. I'm in the headquarters of the secret police. Our door leads north, exits the road or east and west. So we shall start by going west. I'm on the east side of a busy road leading south. To the north is the entrance to a shop, and to the east is a large building. Okay, let's go north to the shop. I'm inside a large junk shop. The exit is south. I can also see a small purse. We get the purse. Uh, now, nothing else we can do in the shop. Let's leave the shop, going south, and let's go south again. I'm outside an underground tube station. Beyond the turnstile, stone steps lead down past a notice in the ticket office. The road branches north, south, and east. A wide ledge runs around the building a little way up. Well, we'll remember that for later. Uh, but next, we'll go east. The entrance to a cathedral is north, the road is to the west. I can also see a tall ladder and a sign saying repair work by Pongo Limited. Okay, let's go into the cathedral. Let's go north. I am inside a large cathedral. The doors are to the south. I can also see a collection plate and a 50p coin on the plate. Okay, so the coin may come in handy, but obviously we don't just want to take it and walk off because we've been told earlier that stealing is a crime. Uh, let's see what we can find in our purse, if we open the purse. Okay, so now we can see, not we've got the collection plate and the 50p coin, but now if we open the purse, we've got a £1 note on the plate. So, again, this shows, it shows the age of the game. £1 notes in the UK went out of circulation many, many years ago now. I can't remember how many years, but probably getting on for at least 30 years and replaced by £1 coins. But yeah, this, this definitely kind of sets the game in its uh, time period of the mid-1980s. Anyway, we've put the £1 note down, so there should be no problem with us now taking the 50p coin and uh, getting some some change. And 
let's head out of the cathedral. And while we're passing, we'll pick up this ladder you see here. Okay, I'm hungry. Ah, now as is typical in uh, sort of fairly early text adventures, it was usually the case that after a certain number of moves, uh, your character would get hungry, and then you'd be given a certain number of moves again to try and find some food to um, sort your hunger out. And if not, you would die, um, which is quite harsh. But uh, yeah, that's not not uh, untypical of games of this period. So um, I think we know what our challenge is next. It's to try and find some food to sort this hunger out. But let's go, let's go back to the west and north again. Okay, on the east side of a busy road, heading south. We've been here before. What we didn't see... The commander won't run at the moment. If we if we, if we look at the location, we can see there's a crossing to cross over the road, and we need to use that. Otherwise, we will get knocked over by traffic. So we use the crossing. I'm on the west side of a busy road leading south. There is an entrance to the west. I can also see a fire hydrant, which is making a rather loud banging noise. It's a bit concerning. We won't worry too much at the moment, but let's go south. I'm outside of Delicatessen. The road leads north and south. Still hungry, although Delicatessen seems like a, an appropriate place that might come in handy. Let's go west. I'm inside the Delicatessen. It seems deserted save a large vending machine humming in the corner. An open door goes south and the exit is east. I can also see a sign saying vending machine uses 50p coins. Well, coincidentally enough, we Picked up a 50p coin earlier. Rather glad we did. Let's use the 50p coin. And as we can see there, we can now see a hamburger. So, obviously we're hungry. Let's eat the hamburger. Ah, that was delicious. Okay, that's sorted out our, our hunger. We'll go south now. I'm in the toilets. The exit is north. I can also see a match and a small peephole in the wall. But let's get the match and north back into the delicatessen let's go east and this time let's go south the entrance to a tall tower is to the south the road goes to the north i can also see a macintosh so not an apple macintosh in this case but this is uh, a macintosh as um, as in a raincoat so something that will Probably come in handy if we wear it. So let's get the Macintosh and wear the Macintosh. Okay, we'll now head north again and north one more time. Pass the fire hydrant and this time we're going to go west. I'm in a large library. Books line the shelves. Archways lead north and east. I can also see a gun. Rather unusual thing to find in a library, but let's not worry about that. We'll pick up the gun and head out of the library to the east. Okay, and that fire hydrant seems to have be having problems. The hydrant starts showering acidic water everywhere. It runs off the Macintosh, so yeah, rather a good job we wore the Macintosh. Otherwise, that would be the end of the game for us. So we'll cross the crossing again, cross the busy road, or head back south. Now, you may remember Earlier, outside the station, we saw this ledge. So, clearly indicates there may be something interesting up there. Uh, luckily, we have the ladder we picked up earlier. Let's climb the ladder. And here we are, up on the wide window ledge. A ladder goes down. I can also see a large key. I will get the key. That may come in handy later. Uh, we don't need the ladder anymore, so we'll drop the ladder. And let's go back down. Okay, now we'll go south. I am standing at a bend in the road going north and east. There are wide steps leading up. Well, from here, let's go east. I am in a thin alley which runs from east to west. Let's go east again. I am at a dead end. There is a window high above me and the exit is west. You can also see a dead cat. Phew. Now, uh, I think typically, um, although it looks like a dead end, there's things around here. And if we were to look, we'd be able to see some 
dustbins uh, as well behind the dead cat. Um, now, the reason I'm not going to look is because I'm trying to demonstrate how to complete this game in the minimum number of moves. So you have to take my word for it that there's some dustbins here that we can we can climb. So let's climb the dustbins. Uh, that leads us into a storeroom, an open window south and door to the west. Uh, I can also see a laser cutter. Well, that, that may come in handy. Let's get the cutter. Now we can see the door. Um, happen to know that that's a locked door, but we've got the key from the ledge earlier, so unlock the door. Uh, the key fits perfectly, and the door swings open. Uh, so we don't need the key anymore. Let's drop the key and go west. I'm inside a small museum. There are doors to the east and west. I can also see an old oil lamp. Uh, if I get the lamp, and now I think we're going to need to light the lamp. So we have a match from earlier. Let's light the match. And using the match, light the lamp. Okay, well, we've now got a lit lamp. That's going to be handy if we uh, go anywhere dark soon. But let's head uh, back to the east uh, through the window we came in through. Uh, and go west, uh, west again, so back to the train station, uh, north back to the road and east, back to where we started in the headquarters. Uh, this time we're going to go east. I am in a seedy back road which goes south. Doors open to the east and west. Uh, so from here, let's go south. I am in a cul-de-sac. The exit is north. There are some new weeds here. I can also see a closed drain cover. A man appears and takes a shot at me. He missed. Wow. Well, we're being attacked by some kind of some kind of assassin, but luckily we picked the gun up earlier. Let's shoot the man back. The man crumples to the ground. Okay, he's hopefully no danger to us now. So, we've got to think how we get inside this drain cover. Now, there are many things we can try. I happen to know that the one, the one ultimately that works is to use our laser cutters to cut a hole. And actually, if we'd have explored the library a bit further, we'd have found a book giving us a clue that what we need to do to operate the laser cutters is to twiddle the knobs. So let's twiddle knob. And we've now cut a neat round hole in the drain cover. So we can drop our cutter and go down into the drain. I'm on the rungs of a ladder going up in an east-west sewer. Now, luckily, we brought the lamp with us um, because at this point otherwise we'd be in the dark scrubbling around uh, getting attacked by rats and all kinds of nasty creatures so yes the uh, the light has definitely helped us here but let's go east I'm in a sewer now again this is fairly typical of adventures of the time uh, this is what tradition called a maze so a uh, place where all the locations look the same the only way to uh, to really find your way out would be to come in, bringing objects, uh, dropping objects, and going back and forth between locations uh, to make sure that you knew where where you were at any any point in time, and to use that to build up a map. Because one of the things you may find about mazes like this is that if you go east and then go west, you don't necessarily always get back to the same place you were. So, yes, directions can be confusing. But uh, luckily, I mapped this earlier, so let's go. East again, and east again. I'm in a sewer. I can hear the sound of crashing water. That's good. I've got somewhere slightly different. Uh, let's go down from here. In the sewer, I can also see a credit card. Now, that sounds handy. Let's get the card. And then to leave the sewer, we've got to rather unintuitively go south, and then north, and north again, north again, and east. Leads us back to the rungs of a ladder and then go up. Okay, let's leave the sewer and we'll go north back to the seedy back road and this time we're going to go east. So I'm in a travel agent. There is an exit west. I can also see a train ticket. Well, it's nice of them to, to leave it lying about. Now, I would like to get the train ticket, but in order to do that, I'm going to need to use my credit card. So let's use the credit card we just found. Now the girl says American Express. That will do nicely, sir. As you can see, now we've got the train ticket, 
as well as the gun, the lamp, and the Macintosh that we were wearing from earlier. So next, let's go out of the travel agents to the west, back to the headquarters, and north. Uh, we're now in the armory. The low arch goes south and door is east. I can also see a long knife. Well, that knife may come in handy. Let's get the knife. And now we've got the train ticket. So I think the next place we're going to go is to the train station. So south, west, uh, south, back to the train station. And we're going to use the ticket. And that takes us down to the deserted train platform. Stone steps go up. An announcement's been made. Will passengers please wait for the next train? Okay, let's wait for the train. The train pulls into the station. Now, we could get on this train, but say I have the advantage of having played the game before. I know that if we do that, then the train unfortunately crashes. So that's uh, not a train that we want to catch. Let's wait again. And now the first train pulls out the station and a second pulls in on the other line. Now this is the train we want, so let's enter this train. The doors close and the train begins to accelerate. The train emerges into country and seems to travel for miles. The train passes a sign, Kwazi Agumu, welcome to Wales. The train pulls into a station and I step out. I am standing on a platform. A sign informs me that this is a Welsh place with a very long name, which I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce. Uh, to the east is a lost property office. I can also see a train waiting on the right of the platform. I notice it's pinned to the wall. It says the industrial dispute has been settled and the train shuttle service is back in operation. Okay, let's go east to the lost property office. I am in the lost property office. It seems deserted. The platform is to the west. So here I'm now going to attempt to open the crate with the knife I uh, picked up earlier. Open the crate and I can also see a real diamond and some splintered wood. Now I think this is this is what I was looking for. This is the stolen diamond. So if we no longer need the knife we'll drop the knife and we'll get the diamond. Uh, not much else to see here so Let's go west and head back on the train. Doors close and the train begins to accelerate. Uh, the train travels for miles. The train pulls into a station and I step out. And you see that leads us back to the train station that we departed from earlier. So from here we'll go up and take north uh, back to headquarters back to the CD road and let's head back into the sewer and we're gonna explore the sewer again so east 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 down as we did earlier so this is just the location we originally found the credit card and now we're rather rather unintuitively going to go south and then north and then east and then west. And that leads us to the Jewel Thieves hideout. I'm in the Jewel Thieves hideout, which has been abandoned. A ladder goes up through a hole in the ceiling. Exit is north. I can also see a sign saying, Door NE opens from other side. Okay, so let's head on up. I am in a long, damp tunnel. A trap door is to the north, and the tunnel goes down. Let's open. Open the door. I'm in the jewel room. A spiral staircase leads down. I can also see a fake jewel. Okay, so this is the jewel room where the uh, the diamond was displayed originally. So we'll put down our real diamond. Drop it here and we'll pick up the fake diamond. Okay. So we've replaced uh, the real diamond in the jewel room. On display, uh, let's head down. I'm inside a room at the base of the tower. A spiral staircase goes up, and an open door leads to the north. I can also see a sign which says "Tower closed to the public." Okay, we'll go north. Uh, the entrance to the tall tower is to the south. The road goes to the north. Uh, north again, outside the delicatessen. 
uh, north again. Leads us back to the, the busy road we saw earlier. We'll use the crossing. Use the crossing. And then we'll go east back to our headquarters. You headquarters of the secret police, and congratulations, you have restored the real jewel to its rightful place. You've also managed to do it in the minimum number of turns, so well done indeed. You've taken 115 turns, which, and I ha I have tried, that is the absolute minimum you can, you can do it in. So, that is how you complete Diamond Trail. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you for another adventure again soon.